What if all of your negative relatives turn positive? What'll that do for your fortune and your future? Not much. If prices come down a little, what'll that do for your fortune and your future? And your sophistication and your culture? What'll that do? Not much. If the economy gets a little better, what'll that do? Answer, not much. If you don't make plans of your own, you'll fit into someone else's plans. And guess what they have planned for you? You're right, not much. Most people wake up every morning counting on this not much list. And that's why what they have is not much. Not much hope, not much promise, not much progress. They're driving what they don't want to drive, living where they don't want to live, doing what they don't want to do. Forget the thief waiting in the alley to snatch your purse. What about the thief in your mind? Lazy, not stimulated by thoughts and questions. Don't become a victim of yourself. Ask yourself these questions. Is this the direction I want for my life? Is it someone else's direction? Is it a goal that I have been ingrained with since my childhood? Is it my parents or my spouses or my bosses or my children's? Is it mine? Ask yourself these questions. Debate them if you will. Debate the ideas I am sharing with you on this program later. After you've heard all the ideas, debate what will work for you and won't work for you. But most importantly, get into the debate of your inner mind. What am I doing that works? What am I doing that doesn't work? Debate it all. Work with your mind to figure out the best possible direction for you. Your self-direction. Your self-direction. You hear stories all the time of kids, middle-class kids, upper-middle-class kids. You hear stories all the time about good kids that are having problems. Their parents are highly successful. They want their kids to be highly successful. But the kids are having problems, maybe not with their grades, but with how they feel about themselves. The parents push their kids into one career direction, probably to take over the family business or follow in the family footsteps. It's the parents' direction, not the kids' direction. The kids know that something's just not right. And for these kids, something goes wrong. I know this lady that comes from a medical family. Everybody's in medicine. All of the kids grew up and went to school to be in medicine. It's just what you did. You grew up and became a doctor. Now, it wasn't a bad upbringing. They had everything they needed, but they also had the extra push to go into medicine. As a matter of fact, my friend says that they were raised with such tunnel vision that she didn't even have the slightest idea how food got into the grocery store, how cars got into the lots, how money got into the banks. She didn't know. The issues were never brought up at the dinner table. She remembers back in the late 70s, the first time she went to look for a job to make extra money in college, that the best jobs in the paper, the ones for qualified people, were only advertising a monthly salary of $900. $900. She thought the average person on the street, the average non-qualified person, made at least $3,000 a month. What a difference. What a shock. To be so sheltered from real life, to be so far off in what the average person made for a living, it was a real revelation. So she started asking questions. I mean, if she was that far off in her judgment of average earnings, maybe she was way off on other thoughts in life, too. Maybe there was more to life than being in medicine. Maybe this wasn't what she wanted to do after all. Maybe she finally found the reason why she hadn't been happy through all of her academic achievements. Sure enough, she figured out that the medical goals were not her own, only those of her parents. And even though she was chastised by her family for not following through with the family goals, she is now much happier, 
following her own path. Direction must be your own, or it can end up being damaging. Damaging to your soul, damaging to your spirit, damaging to your health. Now there's one more part to my friend's story of growing up in a medical family. It's a part that nobody in her family talks much about, yet it happened. And it's an important part to tell. While my friend was pushing for perfection in school, she also pushed herself into an eating disorder. She ended up with this a few years before anyone really knew anything about anorexia. So there wasn't much help available. But a few years later, about the same time she started asking questions about life, she determined with the help of a specialist that this eating disorder had nothing to do with food or the lack of it. It had to do with control. It had to do with direction. Somebody else's direction for her. Direction has to be your own or it can be damaging. So parents be watchful of how you motivate your children. Give them all of the resources to make their own choices and back them up. Give them the freedom to discover their own direction. It may not be the direction you'd hope for, but it is their direction. And with their own direction, they will reach their own destination. It just doesn't work out any other way. Now, if you are one of those people who had the revelation that the life and goals you're pursuing are not your own, you can change it, just like my friend did. But the change doesn't come overnight. The direction of life can come overnight. A new goal can reach out and grab you in one day, give you the push and the ambition and the momentum to change your course, where you want to be. But the final destination does not happen overnight. It still takes a lot of work. It still takes time for the plans to build, to grow, to run the course. It takes patience. Let's say you have a brilliant idea for starting a new company. What's the first thing you do? You write a business plan and a marketing plan and complete the financial pro formas. You don't expect to have an idea one day and a prospering business the next. No, it doesn't work that way. You've got to take all the right steps, give it care and nurturing and time. Lots of time for your investment to start reaping rewards. You've got to be patient. But here's what does happen. As soon as you turn a new direction, I'm telling you, you've got an excellent chance of a brand new destination. A brand new destination in three years, a brand new destination in five years.